everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Arise Kids TV. It is so good to have you with us for week number two of The Gift. That's right, and it is our Christmas series. We Woo! are loving it so much. And today we have an awesome episode in store because we have the incredible Justice speaking yeah. today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm really excited, but right now it's time for stickies. Typical. That's typical stuff that makes you want to stick around. I bet you do it. Ah! <laughs> Well guys, that looks like it's gonna be an awesome day today. Yes. I cannot wait. But before we go any further, it is time to stop and worship mm -hmm. our great yeah. God. So no matter where you are, why don't you stand to your feet, get some space and get ready to worship God with us. Sing with me. We dream. Imagine all the things he can do through me and you. We're believers. Anything is possible with Jesus. Imagine all the things he can do through me.
to my tunes. Anyway, as we know, I'm Granny Smith and we are ready to continue with our story of the greatest gift of all time. Are you ready? Okay, let me find the page. Now, last time we got up to the part where, was it the part with the Grinch? Oh no, I'm so sorry, silly me, wrong story. Now, we got up to the part where Mary, she was in her kitchen and she was visited by an angel. And the angel told Mary that she was going to have a baby. Now, we're going to fast forward in our story many months later when Mary and her husband Joseph were traveling to their hometown of Bethlehem for a big event. And Mary was just about to have her baby and they had to travel a long, long way. So Joseph, he got all the things ready and he put them in their family car. Oh, hold up, I'm so cars weren't a thing back then. Oh, I'm so sorry, it was, it was an animal, what was it? It was, oh, it was a donkey. So they got a donkey and they put all the things on it that they needed in Bethlehem. And they put Mary on the donkey and they walked for ages, for a very, very long time. And finally, when they got to Bethlehem, they were so, so tired and they needed a place to stay. So they went to the inn, but there was nowhere for them to stay. So the innkeeper found them a barn out the back. So they went and they stayed in the barn. And that's where Jesus was born. Baby Jesus, the greatest gift of all time. So they wrapped him in some blankets and they put him in a manger. The greatest gift of all time, Jesus. And I think that, my friends, is enough for today. We'll see you next time. But don't forget to always eat an apple a day to keep the doctor away. Okay, bye kids. Well, hey guys, right now it's time for the word. And if you're ready for the word, I want you to say, give me that word. Amazing. And you're going to need three things to get ready to receive this word. You're going to need your Bible, your notebook, and your pen. And let's get ready to write down what God wants to say to us today. In fact, if you're taking down notes, I want you to write down the title of this message. I can be generous in different ways. I'm going to say it one more time. I can be generous in different ways. Amazing. We're going to pray and then we're going to get into it. God, I pray that as we come around your word, you would help us to understand it. God, I pray that you would reveal to us how we can be generous to the people around us. In Jesus' mighty name, and everyone said, Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, I love Christmas. I love the ugly Christmas sweaters. I love the gingerbread house men, gingerbread men in the gingerbread house. I love the Christmas lights. I love the carols and I love presents. I personally love receiving presents and I love being able to give presents. And you know, it made me think, why do we give people presents on Christmas? Like, what does that actually do? When we give a gift to somebody, what does it do? Well, do you know what? It actually makes the person that's receiving that gift feel loved and feel special. And I was thinking about it and I was like, that's really cool. But I'm pretty sure there are some other ways that we can make people feel loved and special as well. In fact, there are five different ways that we can give love and receive love. And the first one is one that we've already talked about. The first one is gifts. When we give a gift to someone, that can make them feel loved and special. Maybe it's quality time, spending time with your whanau, hanging out with them, talking with them. Maybe it's acts of service doing something for your brother or sister without asking, just doing that because you want to express your love towards them. Maybe it's physical touch, giving mum and dad a big hug or giving your friend a high five. Or maybe it's words of affirmation, using your words to encourage someone to build them up, to just tell them how awesome they are. These are five different ways that we can give love and receive love. And we need to remember that there are different ways that we can be generous in this Christmas time. Let's talk about the Christmas story for a moment. We're just gonna go straight to the Bible because the whole reason of this Christmas season is about Jesus. Jesus was born on Christmas day. And there were so many people that wanted to come and see Jesus. In fact, they followed a star to come and find them. 
And one group of people we're going to talk about was the three wise men. Now they saw a star and they followed the star all the way to Jesus. And when they found him, they got on their knees and they worshipped him. And to show their love towards Jesus, they came with gifts. They came with gold, they came with frankincense, and they came with myrrh. And they gave gifts to Jesus to show that's how they loved him, that's how they honoured him, that's how they cared for him. Now there was another group of people and it was the shepherds that also came. They also followed the star to find Jesus. And when they found Jesus, they didn't come with gifts, but they, they showed their love in a different way. They gave, God, they gave Jesus their time. They spent quality time with Jesus. And I love this because it shows us so many different ways. It shows us two different ways that we can give love and receive love. You know, there are so many different ways that we can be generous. We can give so much more than just a gift this, this Christmas. In fact, let us remember, I can be generous in lots of different ways. Okay, over here, I have these jars of water. And I want us to imagine that these jars of water represent the people that we can give love to or we can be generous towards. Then I've got all these different colors. I've got pink over here. That's my favorite color. <laughs> I've got green blue, yellow, and I've got red. And I want us to imagine that these different colors represent the different ways that we can show love. So we're gonna start with pink. And just because we've been talking about presents so much, why don't we start with the first way that we can show love is by giving people gifts. Oh my gosh, look at that. When we give a gift, when we, when we make a gift, we buy a gift and we give it to someone, that can make someone feel so loved and so special. The second one is quality time. Here we've got quality time in green. Oh, when we spend time with our Fano, when we spend time with our friends, just yarning and having conversations and putting aside intentional time to hang out with them, that can make them feel loved. Maybe it's physical touch, we've got blue for that. Oh, there we go, doesn't that look so cool? When we give someone a hug and we embrace them with a hug, or we give them a high five, that can make someone feel so special and so loved. And then we've got yellow, maybe it's acts of service. Oh, this is a little bit more orange than, that's orange. Acts of service, when we do something for someone, when we, when we help out by just, I don't know, helping out a sibling clean their room without asking just for fun, that can make them feel loved. And last but not least is words. There we go, when we use our words of encouragement, when we tell someone that they're awesome, when we champion them on, when we, when we say that, hey, you're actually amazing at doing that. Those are just five different ways that we can show love to people, when we can be generous with those things. And do you know what? Even though they're all different things, they all have the same impact. They all fill people up with love and make them feel so special. We can be generous in different ways. And you know, this Christmas, we can give more than just gifts. In fact, we can give some of those five things that we just talked about. We can give our time, we can give our words, we can give a hug, we can do something for someone, or we could give a gift. But there are so many different ways that we can be generous this Christmas. In fact, you have so much more to offer. How awesome would it be to use your words of encouragement? How awesome would it be to spend time with your family, make them feel loved? How awesome would it be to do something for a sibling just because you wanna make them feel loved and cared for? There are so many ways that we can be generous. And right now, wherever you're watching from, I'd love to pray for you. I'd love to pray that God would reveal to us how we can give love and how we can receive love. Why don't you close your eyes and lift your hands? Here we go. God, I pray over every single person watching this. And God, I pray that you would reveal to us how we can show love to the people around us. In Jesus' mighty name, and everyone said, Amen. Incredible. Well, I'd love to pray for one more group of people. See, we've been talking about baby Jesus, and the truth is, 2,000 years ago, God sent His Son Jesus to the earth. And when He was here, He went to the cross. And when He went to the cross, He took all our sin. That was everything that separated us from God. It was our own wrongdoings um, and everything that we've done wrong. But because Jesus went to the cross, we can now have a relationship with Him. And so if you're watching this and you wanna have that relationship with God, on the count of three, I want you to lift your hand up, give me a wave, and then I'd love to pray a prayer with you. Are you ready? One, two, three. Stretch that hand up. 
Amazing. Well, I'd love to pray a prayer with you. I'm going to say one line and if you can, repeat it after me. Are you ready? Here we go. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for loving me and for giving me life. I'm sorry for the things I've done wrong. Please forgive me and take away the sin that blocks me from you. I believe in you. Be my Lord, be my best friend, now and forever. Amen. You are amazing. What a great decision you have made. And hey, let's remember that we can be generous in lots of different ways. Well, what a great message from Justice and a massive congratulations to you if you just yes. said yes to Jesus. Mm -hmm. We are so excited for you and we've got three simple things that we want you to do to help you in your relationship with God. That's right. And number one is tell someone. We want you to tell someone in your world about the decision you just made. Why? Because we are so excited for you and yes. we know whoever you tell will be excited for you too. That is right. Number two is to read the Bible. The Bible is God's Word written for you so that you can meet Him more. Meet Him more? Yeah, sure. Totally. Read more about Him. Meet Him more. Learn more about you. Learn more about Him. It's a great read make sure you get a copy of the Bible today. That's right. And number three is pray. Praying is simply talking to God. And when you spend time talking to God, you get to know Him and He gets to spend time talking back to you. It's amazing. So why don't you give it a try today? That's right. Do those three things and that'll help you in your relationship with God. Absolutely. Heaps. But yeah. right now it is time to play one of my favorite games. Yes. How far will it fly? Christmas edition. Let's Check it go. out. We are back at Petone Memorial Park for round two of How Far Will It Fly? Christmas <laughs> Edition. Justice, how does the game go? Okay, we have our Santa bag over here that's full of presents and we have no idea what's inside them. So we're going to pull one out, unwrap it and then see how far it will fly. Should we do it, Latara? Let's do it. It's All right, be amazing. Let's go. All right, hands in the basket. And go! Go, 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 go! Oh! oh. <laughs> I think we're finally going with the oh. one. Oh. Okay, wait. Okay, I've this is one. my gift. Okay. Justice, you want to open yours first? Okay, here we go. Then you, Litara, then Great. me. What have you got? What have you got? Oh, oh muscles, muscles. Ooh, oh my goodness, go. it's really <laughs> been well wrapped. <laughs> my goodness, I need some wrapping tips. What is that? Oh. oh! It's not one bauble, it's a whole packet. <laughs> Litara, down. what have you got in okay, yours? Okay, my turn, my turn. Oh Merry my goodness. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, 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 Not one, okay. but two. Okay. And in here for me. What have we got, Annalise? Under my gingerbread wrapping <laughs> is. Oh, oh. What has she got? Ooh. 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 Okay. Oh. It's a Spider Man advent calendar. Okay. Let's see how far they're going to fly. <laughs> Guys, it's Team Tara. I reckon we're here for the win. Why don't we go check out how it goes? Woo! Okay, All so right. did you know guys that it actually has a little bit of firecrackers in here? Um, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Gunpowder. Gunpowder. In here. To make the big crack when to you make pull the, the big crack, crack out. You know, it could explode. I don't know though. Um, or it could just be um, the tricky a crack thing up is... performance. <laughs> 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 okay, anyway. Crack up. Sad. I like that. That was funny. I thought that was crack up. Okay, here we I go. Like you got this, Litara. Um, I believe. I believe I can fly. Ah! All right, here we go. I believe in you, crackers. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, where's oh. it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, does that mean I get mucked off that one or I get mucked mm, off that debatable. one? Debatable. Depends on how far ours fly. Oh, oh no. Hey, don't look, don't look. It's not doing anything. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> All right, you're here with Team Justice. And do you know what? I think that this is going to go really far. So let's go have a look. Okay, here we go. Oh, she's got a long one. It okay. is a lot, but I'm just, I'm thinking oh, what the hell your gonna technique's going to be. Oh, smart. That's really smart. Okay. I'm holding on tight here. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's like a rocket ship. Yeah, it is. Here okay. we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. 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 The bubbles. The bubbles came out. Mm -hmm. I like it. That's that one. We're going off that one there. All right. Okay, Team Spider-Man. Do you think we've got this? I don't know. Spider-Man shoots some pretty far webs, but I don't know how far this advent calendar is going to fly. <gasps> Let's see what happens. <gasps> oh, here okay. Spider-Man. Okay. I don't okay. really have a tactic here, guys. I don't really know what I want to. Maybe I'll do it this way. Oh. Here comes <laughs> Spider-Man. Here comes Spider-Man. Oh, I'm really just thinking maybe. If you can. 
Oh, that's a good tactic there, Annalise. I'm really feeling the tension here. Hold it here. tight, hold it tight! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Turns out Spider-Man can't fly, so... <laughs> For the win! Let's go! All right, team, that was pretty fun, but I don't know, mine split, yours split, Spider-Man almost split. Almost. <laughs> Who do you reckon won? I feel oh. like you could get my distance of one of them and then the distance of the other one and then no. add them together. It's way too complicated. I, I it's cheating. Okay, the game <laughs> is how far, how far will it fly? Yeah, yeah. So maybe we should just go with whatever flew the furthest. Okay, wins. yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, should we check out which one that is? Let's do it. All right. Here we go, here we okay. go. Okay, me first, shall we? I think I'm the first one because all of these guys. My ball, one of my ball balls. I'm thinking one of my ball balls. Oh, oh Spider Man! Man. <laughs> what happened? We, we tried. That's uh, all I can say. We tried. Participation. That's okay. Spider Man can't fly, guys. Yeah, participation award for okay. you. Great job, and ladies. Next, next, next up, we've oh, got a ball ball. Oh, the ball ball. One of the many last men standing. That's okay. Unfortunately, <laughs> didn't go as far as my cracker. Guys, <laughs> we won. Team Litara, if you pick me, you loyal, okay? We won. Let's go. Well, guys, two <laughs> weeks in a row. Oh, what can I say? It. I well think we'd done. have to let someone else have a turn next week, yeah. eh? Maybe. Just someone else to have a chance at the glory, Litara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, though. I thought it was very impressive. Thank I'm you. also imp um, impressed at how far the baubles flew. <laughs> yeah, well, they all just came out, so <laughs> that's great. And even though Spider Man lost, we're all winners because we can now eat the chocolate. Oh, so, chocolate! Okay, okay. I know it's not Christmas yet, but, you know, that's what the advent calendars are for, right? Can I get it out? Oh, it's Ooh. Christmas time, guys. Mm. And it tastes good. Uh huh. Bye! Bye! Oh, you guys, do you guys like chocolate, eh? No, you know if you eat all the dates, then um, Santa comes faster. <laughs> Jess is fully eating <laughs> <laughs>well, Here we are, Justice. It is not long to Christmas, and we are in the segment of unboxing boxes. That is right, unboxing the Christmas edition. What is this all about, Justice? Because I've got a big box here that's Christmas present. But what do I do with it? Well, basically, we're going to be unboxing this box. But there's a little bit of a twist here. Okay. Because one of us is going to be unboxing this box with boxing gloves. That makes no sense, Justice. It makes no sense, but we're going to do it anyway. Sounds like but fun. To figure out who is wearing boxing gloves, we're going to flick a coin. Okay. And I reckon you flick the coin. Okay. I'll guess if it's going to be heads or tails. Ooh, and if bit. I get it right, look, a coin just Convenience. appeared. Wow. And I believe these are the boxing gloves. Those are the boxing gloves. And if I get it right, then you have to wear boxing gloves. And if I get it wrong, then I have to wear boxing gloves. Okay. Okay. This will be my dream come true to, oh my no, gosh, not, not a good start, <laughs> to actually like flick a coin like in, like in a rugby game. Yes. You know, and I'd be like, what side do you want to choose? But I'm not doing that, just flicking the coin. But here okay, we go, cool. ready? Three, two, one. Heads. Wait, what did you say? I said heads. It's tails, people! Yeah. <laughs> which means I choose, which means justice. I want to watch you try and unbox a box with a boxing glove. This is going to entertain people. Here we go, all right. Okay, firstly, I get to open this present because this is, this is feels like Christmas. Oh, quite, quite thick. She is out of practice with our <laughs> presents. There you go, that's okay. No, good, Here we good, go. Good. Um, well, this is going to be quite difficult, actually. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Can you please help me? You know, Harry didn't help me when I did this, so why don't I help you? Because, thank you. Yep. In, okay, thank oh, sorry, do you want me? No, oh, got you it, I got it, I got it over here. Okay, here, guilt. here we go. All right. Where do you even okay. start? I'm gonna count down from three, ready? No, I'm scared. Here we go. Okay, we're three. <laughs> don't ruin the bow though, we wanna keep that. Use it next year. That's gonna be difficult. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, I was gonna count down, but oh. that's fine, that's all good. Oh so, my gosh, I'm so oh, good at this. That was way this. easier, that made it way too easy for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, you did it! Wow! Oh, this is actually... Don't win the paper! Didn't your mum even not win the paper? Did you rip it? Oh. You've got to save the paper for next time! Okay, so oh, far, so... we have a box. This is oh. going to be fun, this is going to be good. Oh, I've done it upside oh, down. God. There you go. There's even like an Arise <laughs> Kids thing on it. Look there we that. go. Okay, That's should fancy. we figure out what's in the box? Well. No, we have to open it. <laughs> we have to do so. Do I have to wear gloves the oh, whole time? Oh, it's Christmas! Oh, 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 look! Oh. Hey! Okay, okay, okay. Don't, 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 you're ready. Wait, wait, this is... Wait, hold on, let me get you secure. One, two, two three. three. Oh. Where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> I think we lost it. Oh, no, it's in here! It's in here! 
Oh, there you go. Thank you, um, random person who wasn't there before. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is um, dominoes. Oh, that's always fun. That is fun. But it's like paper dominoes. Oh, this is not the. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm confused. You know what? Let's figure that out later. It's not good. What's in here? What oh, I've got a Christmas hat. Oh, I want a Christmas There's hat. There's another one in there, too. Oh, here we go. Oh. I've got one, too. Here we go. Surely I win this one. Surely I win this and one. And a rubber band. Oh. Okay, here we go. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh, my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> I won the knots and crosses and. Oh, cards? You can play a game of. Um, oh, that is really snap. cool. Go fish. You can play with go oh, fish. Oh, go fish, yeah. Do you reckon they go fish or something? And there's just heaps of confetti! <laughs> Yay! Well, oh, that has been unboxing for you this year. <laughs> Until next Christmas. Um, we'll see you then. Bye! <laughs> it's in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs>
And that's the real Christmas <laughs> crack up is there's nothing to <laughs> Okay, I've got a purple hat. Do you want to put on I the purple I would love to wear the purple hat. Oh, nice. oh thank you. And I am going to read the joke. Okay, <laughs> I hope it's funny. Oh, okay, okay, this is my joke. <laughs> Who is Santa Claus married to? Mrs. Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Santa Claus. Mrs. No. Merry Christmas. Mary. <laughs> because that's a person's name. Merry Christmas. Mary Kitty Medina. I think what they've tried to do is they've tried to be really funny. Yep. But we all know that Santa Claus is married to, <laughs> to Mrs. Mrs. Claus. Oh, but Mrs. Right. Claus' so. first name could be Mary. Anyway. Oh, true. <laughs> We've never thought about this before. It could yeah, be Mary Claus. I'm going to wrap it up because it's okay. a little bit dry home now. <laughs> okay. But guys, next time we have Harry bringing the word. <laughs> it's going to be an amazing episode. <laughs> guys, <gasps> it's snowing. <laughs> that we can show love towards them. Here I have, oh, this is fun! Ah, fun! Pink! This is actually my favorite color. <laughs>